Warning, this video is intended for audience who are 13 or older. If you are not 13 or older, please fuck off and tell your parents to moderate what you watch online. William, hey. Yeah. Alright, hey. So you know how last week, uh, we were talking about last week's episode, I couldn't figure out the Hisotsuki and its correlation to the Sentai and everything? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, thanks to the diligence of our audience, they gave me their theory, okay? And it's a uh -huh. big stretch, but it's like the clo but it's better than what I can make up last week about how about how cars move fast and you're stuck in the past. All right. Uh huh. Right. All right. So the main concept of Go Under, right? The season that he sold Suki was Go Under was about cars. All right. Right. Okay. All right. And so the cars were sentient. Okay. They were actual talking cars, animal cars, because they come from, because they came from talking animal car world, all right? That's obviously not the name, but I am not going to bother to look up the name of that world, okay. okay? All right, and here's the thing, right? It's pretty stupid to have talking, talking cars walk around everywhere, okay? So what they would do is that they would transfer their souls, like their actual life essence, into these stupid USB memory chips, okay? Okay. <laughs> and then in order for the rangers to transform, right? Because the cause the the talking animal cars were partnered with each rangers, right? Right. Okay. So yeah. so in order for they would have to resonate with their partner and they would take their their partner's talking animal soul chip and put it in their phones. Oh, no, really, that's the connection we're making. That's, that's the connection that people are making right now. That is what Ooh, the audience... Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, no. I mean, if you stretch it out, I guess that works, right? You know, right? A ghost in the phone, right? Some would say a ghost is a soul left of a person, you know? Uh-huh. Yeah, right? all right. <laughs> yeah. That's that's a, a stretch, to be sure. But I mean, I mean, I, it's I guess it's better than what we we were th thinking earlier, anyway. So I mean, it's a more possible theory than what we came up with, right? Because that's the thing. I hate trying to figure out what. I mean, too for this week's theme is really fucking easy to figure out. All right, it is not. Right, but trying to figure out the theme yeah. for these fucking goddamn Hisoski is our fucking pain. I mean, it's creative. That's for sure. I'll give it that. Right. Yeah, sure. That yeah, the last one is was created for sure, wasn't it? Uh huh. Uh huh. Right. Uh, uh huh. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. And also, also by the way, uh, interview. Uh, a new interview came out. Horika is the main character of the show, by the way. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. I kind of she kind of gave off the main character vibe for like a hot second in like the beginning of episode one and like two because she's uh -huh. like a narrator. Yeah. To be fair, it also didn't help that early episode they had every other character be a narrator, and I was really confused, right, about who the fuck the actual narrator of the show is, right? Yeah. But but honestly. as the show has been progressing, now it's been more focused on Haruka's narration, and so yeah, it's pretty much confirmed that Haruka's the main character now. Yeah, she was. She doesn't seem like it, honestly. And, considering and, like how she doesn't have a lot of like attention put on herself, or like it doesn't really go from her perspective. Oh no, 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 no. Maybe, look, maybe she's too mentally ill for us to focus on her to be the main <laughs> character. Oh yeah, like her compared to everybody else. <laughs> yeah, compared look, to everyone else in the look, show. Look, 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 when you're in a room, when you're a crazy person in a room for a crazy person, you are the normal person, okay? I don't know. Well, that's the thing. Are you are you the the same amount or less amount of crazy when you're in a room full of? Are crazy you are you the issue? same person in the room of insane people, right? <laughs> Look, all all I'm saying is that they all they all went pretty crazy in this one episode. All right. <laughs> oh boy! Hey, look, uh, well, well, this one episode. Of what, William? No, you say it. You're the one who does the yeah. intro. Oh, I'm not right, the no. one who does it. I have no idea what it does. What? Are you thinking about me doing the intro for our weekly unnamed okay, Tokusatsu podcast oh series about Avatar World Sentai Tom Brothers? A weekly discussion series for I, Austin, a person who tries to get William committed to a mental institution and to everyone by my friend William. Hi. That's you. A person who sees words on in real life around him and babbles all about it 
as we discussed the latest Super yeah. Sentai season, Avatar of Sentai Dawn Brothers. Hey, this is episode 20. Noise in the Air Elegy. LG? Elegy? E L E G Y? Yeah, that's Elegy. Oh, fuck. Or Elegy. I mean, God, I hate yeah. the English language. That does not. That The way that that word is spelled does not look like the pronunciation of Elegy. Uh, well, I mean, you know, it, it tracks, I oh, guess. God, that look, I hate the English language. It's fine. Language. The English language works well. It's functional. Oh, it God. works. The English language is broken. We need a new English language, all right? Oh, my God. We should, we, we, should, we, we should abolish the current English language and establish a new English language by using what? our current English language as a base for the new English language. But then you're just going to get the same language. No, 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 no. We're going to change same... stuff around. We're going to get rid of words. We're going to get rid of words, all right? And add in new words, all right? Oh, yeah, sure. Okay. Well, propose to me. What are these um, words? Uh, I, mean, I think we'll just get rid of a letter, right? We'll get rid of the letter I, right? Right? I, 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 uh, we'll, put, I, we'll put in a new letter. Okay. The E-I. E-I? Yeah. E I? What you mean? You take literally taking the letter E and the letter I, and you're just putting to, them together. No, 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 no. This new letter looks like the letter I, right? Except there's a dot on the other end as well, and it's pronounced E I. You're just putting the two letters together. This doesn't make a new. No, okay, no, 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 no. You understand? This this new letter is infinitive. All right. It's it will be great. It will make all of the English language way easier. Oh yeah. Okay. Tell me how. Give me an example. Right I'll now. figure that out. I'll, I'll figure out. <laughs> I'm not a legit linguist. All right. I need to ask oh, them like, about it. All right. Well, at least you're honest. At least you're honest. I look, I look, that, look, I look, well, we're, we're, we're an honest podcast. You know, we never lie about anything within our series. You know. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> oh, what's with that self doubt? Do you have something you want to tell the audience? Are you I don't know. Something? Every time we every time we do our intro, you're always you're always going off about like some other wacky shit that we do. Like it's like, oh, you know, th- this here's me, here's wacky me, and here's my other friend who does wacky things. Yeah, you know, as he does the exact opposite of my wacky things. Yeah, you know? look, 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 that's what we want. You know, we want two people of polar opposite to be on the podcast. Like, that's how you create innovations. You know. Right? That's how you have good or crazy antics within a podcast, you know? We, we've gone on for too long. We've gone on for too long on a tangent. We haven't even discussed the fucking episode yet. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck did we do? What are, are we doing, doing with our lives, man? What I don't is know. this? Why, I don't know what the why are we going to do this into. shit right now? I'll be real. I have no reason. There's like no reason for this bit I'm trying to do. It leads, nothing. It leads into nothing. I'll let you know that right now. I was never trying to set up for anything. Yeah, I kind of figured. It kind of felt like that. Oh my god. Uh, also, by the way, the girlfriend's ears are too fucking big, and it's really noticeable, uh, by hey. the way. Hey, hey, man. Some people just have their ears that way, okay? I don't see what. I don't see why Why you gotta, you gotta call them out on it, man. I don't know, but it's just like her ears, ears are actually very noticeable, right? I guess. I guess. They just look like ears to me. I don't know. Uh, the ears are ears pretty ears. big. Alright. Mm hmm. I don't know, that's all I had to say, just big ears. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I like to point out other people's flaw, you know. Yeah, so I see see at that one moment when we were talking about her ears. Yeah, that's so right. Like, I like to put out people's flaw as a way to hide my own insecurities, you know. Yeah, just like how Jiro is trying to hide his own insecurities by becoming like the leader of the new dom of the of of the Dragon Fires. Oh boy, what a him. fucking great name! You know, what? that's the thing I was disappointed about when he called himself Dragon Fire, right? What? And that the intro Wait, what? didn't update to reflect that, you know? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be fair, I, well, I mean, not to be fair. It's more like Toei doesn't seem that invested, you know, in their shows, you know, where they're willing to just like spend the money on that kind of change to begin with. So... I mean, I assume they have a template or it's all pre-rendered asset, you know. So all they have to do is take out the Dawn Brothers logo and put in and just throw in the logo because they obviously made a fucking logo for Dragonfire this episode, you know. And I felt yeah, like it would have yeah. like been That's real nice. easy for just to fucking uh, take out the Dawn Brothers, like open up the, the 
the project file, you know, and then just replace where the Dawn Brothers logo is with that Dragon Fire logo. Like, Alright, call it a day, exploit that, send it to the editing team, boom. Bada bing, bada boom, you know. Bada bing, bada boom. Well, that's, that's right, that's how, that's, how, that's how people at Toei talk, by the way. Wait, did he go say bada bing, bada boom? Oh, that's right, that's their... That's right. That's their favorite. That's their favorite English language word, you know. Oh, and here, and here, uh, you know what? I truly know nothing. I truly am what I aspire to be within this podcast, where I just don't know anything, and you, Austin, know everything about. The that's right. I know everything culture. about the Japanese culture and language, you know. <laughs> oh my god. I'm anyway, a lingu- fucking... linguistics for a reason, you know. Wait, how do we? We we're still we're still off topic. We're still off topic. I'm noticing this right now. We're still off topic, Austin. Oh my god. Anyway, well, I'm gonna bring us back on topic. You Oh yeah, anyway, Chu is fucking insecure about how he's not the leader and he's like, Oh man, my my on again, off again girlfriend is like is coming to Japan. Look at that, wow we I gotta be the leader now. Mm-hmm. And yeah, then, please, mm-hmm. please, please, I have been living a life of lie. Please let me impress my 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 girlfriend, who's not probably not even my girlfriend, you know. Yeah, or something. I, yeah. It's very unclear. <laughs> mm-hmm. But, like, fucking, uh... Fuck, where am I? So, I mean, yeah, I guess, like, fucking Taru is like, yeah, sure, go for it, man. No, nah, yeah, fuck it. What, 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 I, what, I, what, I don't have to work this week? That's fine, you know? I don't yeah, care. <laughs> exactly. He's just, like, he's just taking a day off, and Kaito's like, hmm, this is not gonna go well. And then everyone else is just fucking going off the train and shit. In the fucking rain... In the fu- who does this? Who trains in the fucking rain? Oh, man? What, what, what are you? A lot of people like to train and train in the rain, you know. Okay, yeah. Give me an example. Who trains in the rain? Rocky wasn't. Didn't want the Rocky movie had him training, run in the rain or something. I don't know. It's been like ten years since I've seen the Rocky movie. Oh, okay. But I'm pretty sure in the one of the Rocky movies that happens. All right. I know there's a montage of him going up the stairs and everything. I don't remember. I don't know that montage, but. But I'm pretty sure he does go up the rain at some point. Or he runs in the rain. I guess. Yes, yeah. so anyway, a guy has a heart attack while driving, you know. Right? And, and of course, everyone in the street is like, uh-oh, what do I do? Do I just stand in the street and look vividly confused? Or should I actually just wa- walk off to the side to avoid the path of this car? Yeah, they were really standing there for a little while, you know. Yeah, I was like, like, just move, just move. It. Why are you thinking about this? Why do you have to think about do do I go left or do I go right? Just pick one direction and, and go from there. Yeah, honestly. And then, uh, but you know what? They learned they learned that lesson well when they, when they see that fucking um. I keep forget. I know it's Tsuyoshi, and the other dude was who who what was Shinichi? his name? Sinichi. Oh yeah. my god, I need to start remembering these names, man. Or at least yeah. Sinichi. For some reason, it's always Sinichi. But yeah, Sinichi to me is the forgettable one, you know. Yeah, to be fair, all he does is just do haikus and, you know, act self important. So. Yeah, and be, and be homeless. Yeah, and be home. No, he has a home. We know he has a home. He's literally just a rich kid just, like, walking around doing whatever the fuck he wants, dude. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah, but, you know, the, the truck is fucking, like, Going out of, uh, like, fa- I guess it's fast as fuck, and it just knocks fucking Sinichi and Tsuyoshi out into the fucking air. Uh-huh. Right? But don't worry, mm. Haruka's got this, and she's, and she, she aims to, like, fucking stop the truck, but then, you know, of course. Oh, uh, she does stops. stop the truck. She said stops, and it's good. It's yeah, sure. Good yeah, sure. Me. Just, yeah, look, next time when it's, when I'm about to get run over by a truck or a bus or something, all I just have to do is yell stop, and they're legally, mm. they have to legally stop immediately in that moment, no matter what, no matter if there's a cut brake line or if their brakes are just out, you know, or anything like that, or maybe if there's like some, like a medical emergency like ha- that there's happening here, you know, they legally have to stop. They can't mm-hmm. keep going. They cannot legally run me over. <laughs> hey, look, look, it's the same. Look, that's the same thing that applies to me with COVID. You know, right? COVID can't can't enter your body if you tell COVID to stop. You know, that's what I told my friend when he got COVID the first time, and that's why I told when he got, and that's why I told when he got it the second time. Oh my god, I swear to god if he actually did. I'm gonna... Oh no, no, he actually did, but don't worry, but don't worry, he's not a fucking idiot, and he, got, and he was vaccinated, alright? Oh, well, thank goodness for that, right? Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. 
That's what's what we try to warn all of our viewers. That's right. All right, just tell all of them. Look, look, we live in the 21st century, and we live in the West. So you got to remember, everything you have to do in the West, you have to ask for consent, you know, right? Uh-huh. Right? Yeah, exactly. That's like how we consent to people listening to our podcast, you know? Before, people wasn't sure about listening. Now they're okay to listen to it, you know? Because we consented said- for them. What if I said I don't consent to anybody listening to our podcast? Uh, 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 I consent to everyone ignoring William, all right? But, <laughs> what if I consent to everybody not ignoring me and therefore uh, not ignoring my request, you know, to not consenting to uh, everybody I, I'll to just consent to people in general to just don't listen to what you say in general, regardless of anywhere infinite paradox problem you bring up as as a result of a metaphysical uh hypothetical situation that we have created between ourselves for the audience right <laughs> exactly <laughs> oh my god don't worry you'll be seeing from my lawyer in a few weeks anyway so oh hold on did he show himself off in this i mean he sort of does but yeah that go ahead fucking well, kaiko I mean, just I, just I, I, on I, the fucking rooftop just staring at them Oh no, not that. Well, I'll, I'll, I was skipping ahead for a little bit because I was wondering about whether we should talk about the the, the monster of the week yet. But I guess we should. We can just we'll, we'll get there when we get yeah, there. Yeah, we'll, we'll get there. We'll get when we get there. Uh huh. Uh huh. Right. But yeah, I guess yeah. Kaito was just watching dude. Uh, yeah, yeah. Right? Like uh, mm, right, which I think is just great. Yeah, which is just like he's like he doesn't decide to help out or anything, even though he's technically a member of the team or is he or, a or member anything, of the team? I feel like he's well, just like he a... transforms, right? So he technically is. He just doesn't fight all the time. He just manages the right. I think he's like, really just lawful neutral in this entire situation. Like, yeah, fuck it, I could be involved, but I choose not to be involved. You know, right? Yeah, I guess. Excuse me, I was drinking something. But like, um, I suppose so. But you know, Kaito does have that whole thing. Of like, I I was born a hero. I will be a hero. I will uh-huh. be a hero. Like, yeah, which is really know. fucking weird. How it's like this has this uh this hasn't been established at any point before about this character, and yeah, now we're finally it's, establishing it's, this. Yeah, at like episode twenty, which is interesting, which is an interesting choice. Uh-huh. But, like, uh, fucking, you know, Kaito's, like, sitting around, like, he's just watching on the roof, then they go back to their fucking, like, restaurant. And yeah, yeah, boy, hey, look, while. these people should stop fucking harassing Kaito at his restaurant. He's trying to do a business, and these fucking people in their stupid gym clothes are hey, in his hey, restaurant. Man. Hey, hey, Kaito consented to the harassment. Oh, okay. he consented totally to the harassment fine. of... He oh. consented to the harassment. It's totally fine. And okay. they consented to harassing him. It's totally good. It's totally oh, okay, that's good. how it works? Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's uh-huh. exactly how it works, man. Uh-huh. Look, look. They learned they, Japan learned of our of our we, of our Western politics and they adapted it to theirs. So this is this, <laughs> this they learned the best from us, all right? So they okay. know what they're doing. Uh-huh. <laughs> but yeah, right. fucking Jiro wants to become famous as shit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh-huh. so everyone's just like, oh, I don't know if that's a good idea, but it's like, no, but we can we can totally do it. And so everyone, and so they, during the next, I guess, I don't know if you can call it really a montage, but a series of events, I guess. Montage is more sort, like, very short clips. But anyway, mm-hmm. so it's just, they're like, hey, man, hey, we're rescuing you. Hey, we're called the Dragon Fires, by the way. It's not important that you know our name right yeah, it's, it's we're the, the Dragon Fires. Yeah, you, yeah, get, uh, you got that? We're the, don't remember us, but we're the Dragon Fires. Uh-huh. Right? We're the Dragon no, when Fires. people say who rescue, don't tell them it was us, Dragon Fire, who rescued them, right? You know? Yeah, ex- Right? Ignore the fact that I am writing your name on your arm right now, right? And that I have <laughs> that I am taking your phone and putting in my name into a contact for you, you Here, know. Here's my name, here's my number, here's my address, yeah, here's just everything you need to know. Don't remember about. that it was us, Dragonfire, you know? Yeah. By the way. By the way, don't wear this t-shirt I am putting on you right now <laughs> that says Dragonfire. <laughs> Don't wear our merch. Here's a here's a T-shirt. Here's a hat. Here's some glow sticks. Uh, you know, don't don't cheer our name or anything when you see us. But wear the dragon fires. If you did feel like cheering, we are the dragon fires. But you don't don't feel obligated for it. <laughs> also, I think it was after this, like after like this, you get the whole bit where like, oh yeah, we're the dragon fires and shit. Fucking, like, oh, hold on. So Noi and hold on. Yeah, I'm trying to remember. So Sononi. 
And... Sono ni. Okay, Sono and Sono ni, right? Yeah, fuck, I hate okay. this. I fucking hate their fucking yeah, naming scheme so yeah, fucking and, much. And, and, but it goes back to the fucking problem how we always complain about shit in Japanese. Culture. How everything is just a fucking name pun, right? How everything... Yeah, like, how, yeah. If you're gonna have a fucking name in Japan, it has to be a stupid fucking pun. You know, everything in Japan only exists as a fucking stupid name pun. You know? Yeah. Well, at least we weren't born with puns for names, you know? Okay, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That. Yeah, that's right. It's just like you and your brother, Willy Yum and Willy Too, right? <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Like how does you consider this the breaking point of this fucking shit? <laughs> it's just I didn't expect it. It totally fucking blindsided me. Like holy shit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Any, anyway, fucking Sono Ni, Sono Ni, Sono Ni, and Sono Za, fucking, oh my god. They're all in a movie now. They yeah, all uh-huh. just got randomly hired for a movie. Oh, yeah, I have no I idea where this plot they point do, is going. They're, they're, they are very attractive, you know. They are young, attractive young adults and everything, you know. And they like to remind us about, about, about the fact that Sono Ni wears extremely... Ch- short pants and that every time they get a shot of her it's her thighs you know they want us to remind her about about her thighs and everything well you know what that's what that's what thighs are there for i guess Uh uh-huh also yeah but i'm just it happened so suddenly like they were at least building like they're at least continuing to build up the thing with like sono sono za where he was reading like the 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 first love hero thing right yeah yeah uh and how it they were building up on that a little bit. But then they they build up more on the fact that, like, oh, yeah, starting a movie that's based on the manga that you're reading right now. I'm like, where is this going? No. Uh-huh. What is happening? This is the most random turn of events I'm seeing so far. Like, what is happening here? These guys are just, like, the enemies of humanity, technically, and uh, decide to just fucking um, star in the movie, even though they have bigger issues with Murasame, you know? Hey, hey, look, also, look, 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 they want to learn about human culture, you know? The best way to do it is to learn about it through, uh, through, through, through movies, you know, right? Yeah, sure, where they can learn, well, I mean, to be fair, know, they, they can learn off- about all the joys about working on, on a movie, workplace harassment, abuse of directorial power, underpaid interns you know right yeah right uh, uh-huh. a prop master who doesn't check the prop weapon before giving them to the actor oh, oh my god dude right oh god, or maybe god. there's an actor who's really into character and starts yelling at the yelling at the light sky for being the background and fixing the light for the next shot you know right <laughs> <laughs> oh my Boy, God, hey, that dude. thing is that thing is like fucking fourteen years old now. I it didn't occur to me how is old it that. Fourteen years old? Did not that when Terminator Salvation came out? Was it in two thousand nine? Oh, what? I don't. I thought it was like on an earlier movie. No, it was Terminator. Right? So that was that. I was like the. That's like my. That was like the only way I remember because it was. Let's see. Uh, fucking. Uh, let's see. Chris. I thought it was like Dark Knight Rises, right? No, it that's was like, not Dark Knight. Chris. Uh, rant. <laughs> I was. It was uh. Yeah, Terminator Salvation. Oh, oh yeah. Oh really? Damn. Okay. All right. I thought it was fucking. I thought it was fucking Batman. But all right. Nah, 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 nah. Christopher Nolan would never allow that on his set. You know, right? Right. I mean, it was Christian Bale. It was Christian Bale who's been on the movies for. Nah, no, that's like, right. You, 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 right. No, Christopher wouldn't uh, would allow it because he wants the true experience because because then he can release that footage in theaters for everyone to watch during a pandemic you know right <laughs> uh-huh yeah exactly it will save the theaters you know that's right look the only way to save theater is to release the five minute rant where christian bale yells at a fucking lights guy for fixing the lights for the next shot you know Dude, it's the exclusive God. deleted scene it's the no it's the mid credit scenes you know as the dark knight heads <laughs> that's the scene that you get to see in the in the credit that's the footage you see as the credit roll by. <laughs> like it's the entire rant. The entire, that, like oh he edits God. the he edits the the scrolling credits so that it matches up exactly to the how long the video takes as well. 
Oh my god, <laughs> such such excruciating detail. Spain. Oh, that's that, like, like, only, for, no, no, that's no, only the best from Christopher Nolan, you know? Oh, so that people get the true, authentic audience experience. Oh my god. Anyway, the Dom brothers are now, like, l getting carried away with their fucking actions and just like, hey, man, we have... Hey, look, I like made... A, look, look, hey, look. Look, look, I went on a... Fuck, what was that fucking website that they made us use in middle school to learn about webpage about Tripod or some shit? Was it Tripod? I think I, it was... I legit, I legit don't remember, dude. I, I think, think it was... It was like Tripod or Camera 3 or some shit. Look, anyway, uh... Uh, was it you? Was like, I took a beginner's course in website development. I made this a web page. You know, for a website, the fact that this website already has a mobile layout is pretty impressive. I thought they were, I thought they were gonna show us like a really shitty '90s, uh, '90s era type of web page. You know, like a guy who doesn't know how to web page. That looks like the most hideous mm. web page as possible, right? Yeah. But the fact they have right. a mobile layout already is actually pretty impressive, right? Yeah, that's it's not it's not um, it's it's more than I expected from Jiro of all people if I'm being honest, you know. But uh here is the big important question for me if anything. Can you visit it though? Oh, uh and well to be fair, they didn't show us a URL, so I can't really we can't really Damn. check. Right? Damn. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I was I was kinda hoping. They they ruined the immersion that. for us, you know? Yep, they ruined the immersion totally. The, how how dare Telway fucking mess not not make website for a website that they made for the show specifically? <laughs> how dare they? <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, right. but I mean, I guess after this, this is when we get a, a better look of the monster of the week. You know, mm -hmm. uh, do we want to play that game or do all we right? Just all right, so this uh, week's enemy is the Die Ranger. He's so so key. So William. Based on what you remember well, when I told you about Dire Ranger, it was the martial arts season, alright? Uh -huh. How do you think this week Hisosuke relates to to Dire Ranger? You know what? Part of me wants to say it's obviously the martial arts, but I'm not sure, man. What could it be? It's what actually just it the martial be? arts. It's yeah, like yeah, he fucking figured that. Look, look, look. Is that some weird fucking high concept idea, alright? I don't know, man. Compared to the last episode, it was pretty high hey, concept. That was, hey, look, that, was a, hey, look, that was a fucking mess. I fucking hate it. The fact that someone <laughs> had to tell me that told me that was the reason I fucking hate it. I'm really fucking mad, right? The fact that they actually did something like that last week, right? Mm -mm -mm. As opposed yeah. to my simple idea of just fucking doing Time Ranger, right? Because to represent the concept of time passing, they did the most high fucking concept thing possible, right? <sighs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's really fucking annoying how, like, like we get some pieces so that's really just, like, the most basic uh, reminiscence of past Sentai, right? Like, mm -hmm. this week's enemy, where it's just, like, literally, oh, no, the diary just was martial artist, and this week's enemy is a martial artist. What the fuck else are you looking for? I don't know what you're looking for. It's literally right there, <laughs> right? You're a fucking idiot if you don't see this correlation. Is that some fucking deep Rick and Morty joke for you to Yo, fucking actually, understand? Yo, actually, I think on it. Now that I think of it, la wait, hold on, because I was thinking about last episode because we were discussing that. Uh -huh. Last episode, it's, it was based off a of car season, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh -huh. you, you think the reason they used the car was because she got run over? Oh, wait! Wait, that's <laughs> actually a bigger concept! Wait, holy shit! Wait, I think you, I think you cracked the code! Because I totally forgot that she actually got run over in that fucking episode. I'm just like, wait, because we were always looking at her directly, right? But we should have been looking at her cause of death. That's what we should have been looking at in order to see how does this tie in with everything. The re because it was what killed her is what is now protecting her. The fucking car, I guess. So. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I've cracked Fuck. the code. God, I hate it. I hate I hate this, but anyway, yeah, look, this week's enemy is literally just a fucking, uh, it's just because he's a martial artist, there's really nothing else about this, there's, like, no deep higher meaning for, for this week's, uh, for this week's Hisotsuki, alright? Oh my god. It's, it's, it's really just that, he just wants to fight people, he wants to punch people, and that's it, you know? Like, he gotta prove himself, he is the world warrior, you know, right? Yeah, you know, he's got to prove himself, you know, that kind of thing. Uh-huh. Which is kind of just it, you know, that's all he really is for, and, uh, fucking Taru is, you know, taking care of him, and then that's when we get Kaito, where he's like, hey, man, 
what's your deal, deal, Kaito? Why are you doing this? I was like, hey, man, I'm a hero. It's, it's just kind of what I do. Yeah, which even which even though we haven't clearly established this at any point, right? Right, because well, I always just assume that Kaito's now. character was supposed to be like the fucking next, the guy who actually keeps the world, I guess, or the fuck the world order is in this universe in check, right? Like, he's like, ooh, boy, hey, I, I don't... It's I a, guess. Like, I'm the dream that he's like, supposed to be like some fucking weird high concept god... Boy, hey, speaking of high fucking concept again, you know, right? That's that's what. Hey, look, hey, look, hey. As as people know, we're a high concept podcast, you know, right? Yeah, sure, we're high concept podcast. Hey, look, hey, look, our yeah. favorite show is Rick and Morty for a reason, you know, right? I love me some Neil deGrasse Tyson, oh my you know. God. Why why would you bring that back up? Oh my god, I'd rather not be a part of that fandom. Hey, look, hey, look, hey, look, hey, look, Kaito turned himself into Zen Kaiser, you know, right? It's the funniest shit you've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> right, but uh, okay, oh, okay, okay, not not shit posting really, right? I always thought that Kaito was supposed to be the, oh, actually like uh, a like some weird fucking god character whose like job is like, oh, I'm here just here to watch this world, you know? I'm just an observer, right? No, like, 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 I get uh, like. That. Because like considering like how he has the whole thing was like, oh, I managed the point, so I was like, you think he has some oversight in some way? But he just kind of like. He's also like, oh, I kind of thought, like, this is how a character would go until something else, like, happened. Like, I remember him saying, man, I always thought Jiro would just, well, not Jiro, Taro would just, you know, fall to his own hubris, to his own power, mm-hmm. that kind of thing, right. you know, instead of dying the way he did. So it's kind of like, yeah, he does feel high concept, but then all he really gives here is just, I mean, and they're established now, like, 20 yeah. episodes in, right? But, like, it's just like, hey, man. I'm yeah, that's right, dude, you know, I've always been a hero, you know, right? Right, which doesn't make any sense if we never see yeah. it, right? Like, 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 they did, like, a sudden flashback sequence, right? And it shows that he was beh- behind the scene doing shit the entire time. I would have accepted this more, right? Because cause that's what we do get seen later with uh with, with Taru, right? How he was behind the scene saving everyone, right? But if we did the exact same thing with Kaito, right. I was like, oh, yeah, no, I was always behind the scene helping you guys out, you know, right? I would have yeah, accepted yeah, this scene you know. more, right? But this scene just fucking cute. feels like it mm-hmm. literally comes out of nowhere with no prerequisite establishment about this character, right? It's like all of a sudden, it's like, oh yeah, no, 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 yeah, I'm they... all about the people, you know? Right? I've always been protecting the people, right? I love the people, right? Mm hmm, mm hmm. Yeah, it's it's kind of just like out of the wazoo cut, like, okay, yeah, I mean, it, we're literally 20 episodes mm-hmm, in, we're just this. Right. Literally 20 episodes in. But we get, like, this whole... Um, our, no, hold on. Yeah, now this is where... Yeah, I yeah, yeah, hey, everybody, where everybody loves Pinocchio, you know. Hey, look, everybody's a big fan yeah, of Guillermo honestly, del Toro's Pocchio. Pinocchio. Po- <laughs> Pinocchio. Yeah, honestly, I'm kind of surprised that just, like, like them just having, like, Pinocchio noses out of their cut. I always thought this was going to be, like... Like a thing that the enemy of the week was gonna do to them, mm-hmm. but it's not. You know, this is just randomly. Oh yeah, you have long noses now. You know, and you know everyone's just kind of like on their high horse. Like, man, we're just so good. We're just we're just like we're just such important people. We're such great heroes. That kind of mm-hmm, thing, right. you know. And of course, like they're all like dressed in the fanciest clothes possible and shit like that. Right. And like fucking. Uh, Fucking like Jiro is like, ha, huh, this will certainly impress my girlfriend uh, or not girlfriend, right? Or oh, I, I, I'm hell, not really sure know? what our relationship status is, you know, right? Yeah, it was never clear. We never had a proper discussion. I just sat by you the whole time, and saying, man, I can't see you again. I gotta go run off and be a hero, and then you got guess like the next day you come back and just sit on the stairs again and do the same thing over every over, uh-huh. over every day, which is what I'm what I'm getting from right. the relationship. You know, she's just like, I'm just, you just give me ice cream, man. I'm, I'm chill with this. I <laughs> Is that it? No. <laughs> I mean, like, that's uh-huh. probably it, because otherwise she's just kind of like, sitting there like, this weird kid, he just, he just keeps saying this stuff. How does he know my name? What, what is he doing? No, go. I don't, go, I don't please. consent, I, I don't, don't consent I don't to this, you know. Oh, but I will consent <laughs> to that ice cream. Thank you very much, good <laughs> sir. Uh-huh. <laughs> But yeah, fucking, it's like uh, Kaito comes in and when they're like, oh, you're going to reveal yourselves, man? Hey, did you know that all the hard work that you did was actually because of Taru? 
because he was there, like, helping you from, like, mm-hmm. the sidelines, you know? So, apparently, Taro just did not decide to take a vacation day, Yeah, you know? He just was like, you know, I'm just going to do a few changes, you know, mm-hmm. help them out real quick. All right, I'm Yeah, good. I'm going to work behind <laughs> the know? scene the and entire like, time, basically. <clears throat> Yeah, honestly, the thing where I would have figured Kaito would have done this actually, you know, mm-hmm. where Kaito would be like, I, I was always a hero, but you know, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah right, right, right. Uh, along that route. But you know, everyone's just like, hey man, Taro is still out there fighting. You guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I like you, fucking Bozos. Right, that. he's doing his job, right? Yeah, you know, he's doing his job. What are you what are you doing here, huh? Just wearing Yeah, that's right. You, you posers, yeah, you know, up, right? He was the one that stopped that car, you know, right? He's the one that got you outside yeah, of the exactly. burning building because you didn't uh, regulate your oxygen level before entering a burning building, you know? Right? Or you know, wear an oxygen mask. Oh, that's right. Mask or yeah, hey, look, it turns out your stupid superhero mask wasn't doesn't fucking regulate oxygen. You guys should have thought of that beforehand. Yeah, huh. Huh. You, you think that the mask would do, you know, more than that, but I guess it, I guess it just uh-huh. doesn't filter yeah. out smoke or something. Yeah, right? it doesn't. Huh. Yeah, like they, can, like, they can take, like, fucking hits, like, like, from, like, big, powerful monsters and shit. You know, they can transform into robots, but apparently it's not enough to No, no, of course not. Mask. But what, what go as you know, masks doesn't filter anything. Masks don't work, alright? I don't know why you would think wearing a mask would filter on any type of oh airborne particles, you know, right? Like, why should people Duh, be wearing yeah, a mask, yeah, yeah. right? It, it, it does oh, nothing. To protect themselves, you know? Yeah, sure, sure. That's ex- yeah, sure. I, I can go with that. I don't know, yeah, I do. yeah, that, I don't know what you're talking about, whatsoever. you know? Right? Duh, yeah. Yeah, but anyway. Fucking, and but, yeah, hey, go, look, hey, look. They, yeah, they, 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 they ever realize the errors of their ways and they go help out. And then fucking Jiru has a fucking mental breakdown, you know? That is very accurate. That is very accurate. He just literally yells and is like, oh, all right, weird shit. Then you get everyone else helping out fucking Taru, you know, fucking, like, fighting the monster uh-huh. of the week, right? And then, uh, Murasame yeah, comes in, like, hey, you know, just so me. that we don't forget I'm about Don him. Murasame, you know, check me out. Yeah, but then he ends up, like, and then it just, Sonoi ends up coming and is like, hey man, you're Yeah, gonna I'm gonna, me. I'm gonna put you then, back you know, into that prison where you came from, you know, right? You don't deserve to be here and everything, Right? Yeah, and so, you know, they're having a fight off screen while, like, Jiru fucking finally what? comes in and where he's just, you know, very clearly mm-hmm. different, you know, where he's just really a lot more aggressive and shit and, you know, genuinely yeah, pissed off. Yeah, way more aggressive and everything, like, right? Yeah, so anyway, he has a second yeah, form, this also, is the tiger form, you know, Don Tora Bat, where also, the fuck they want to... It turns yeah. into an axe. Uh, this form looks pretty cool, I dig this uh, silver form he has. You know, I, well, I like it. I like it a lot better than than the first one. I still have the issue where the body is just too mm-hmm, simple, right? I, I mean, I, I'm like also not a fan about look. how this how they don't change the undersuit, right? How it's still a gold undersuit, right? Because it made sense for, right? And like, yeah. if they actively change his undersuit, I don't know if just totally being a fucking a bunch of lazy fucks, like they like they like they always are, right? But I feel like his undersuit should have been yeah. silver at this point or something, right? Yeah, I felt like either silver or, like, if they wanted to keep the gold, they could just maybe, I don't know, replace the black mm-hmm. with silver. Yeah, right. Because, I like, you know, gold and silver. Like, like have a different contrasting out, color, so. right? You know? Yeah, you know, something to really make it distinctive in its own, but it's just more like you kind of put, like, a coat of paint over, like, just one little bit. Like, all right, we'll call it a day, and it's, it's gener- generally the same, mm-hmm. you know, for the most part. It's... It's kind of yeah. whatever to mm-hmm. me. Right, yeah, but yeah, no, this world looks cool. I know he, he beats the shit out, out of this week's enemy, you know, right? Oh, yeah. Like, he's just very arrogant and just very, just, like, egotistical on how he fights. Like, <laughs> yeah, too easy and just doing, mm-hmm. like, random backflips and shit. Like, holy fuck, dude. But, um, you know, why is, as fucking Jiru is fucking kicking ass, right? Mm-hmm. Or, Whatever, whatever he, he is now, because I, it's a split personality. I have no idea if he goes by any other. Yeah, way. no, yeah, they just know him. Okay. We just know that his f- form is Don Tora Torable. I don't I, think he like if his 
if there's like an actual name or whatever, right, for what they actually call it. But anyway, but his finisher is sick as fuck. I'll give it that much. Holy shit, what a fucking cool oh, finisher God. he has. It is a fucking cool finisher. It's just like the tiger just zipping it into the dark, and it's just like it's not even really like a fully formed. Yeah, like, like the so like, like the outline um, basically, right? The the outlines with the silhouette with the details and shit, where it's just like fucking like made mm -hmm. out of lightning and just like ripping through the dark darkness, and it's just it, then it fucking kills the enemy. It's fucking great. Mm. It's actually pretty fucking cool. Um, but, you know, he defeats the enemy being a week. We also get where Murasame and fucking Sonoy are still fighting. But the weird thing, the weirdest way they mm -hmm. end this fight. I'm so weirded out by this. I'm not going to lie. It's like, they're fighting Murasame. Oh, and then he just fucks then, off? So, 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 no, so, no, no, so no ni comes in where she's like, hey, Sonoy, ignore him. We have more stuff to do. More important stuff to do. You want to know what that is? We're making a <laughs> No, it's fucking great. She's just like, can... it's just like, what the fuck? He's like, huh, I guess you're right. And they both leave, and Murasawa was like, all right, shit, I'm a fucking dip. And then he fucking goes. That's all he does. Oh, no, wait, wait, he, I, he just I, comes I, in, has a fight, and then that's it. About the episode. It's when they fight, right? There's like a really good scene when Murasawa is on the wall mm -hmm. and and he's fighting someone on the graph. Oh, and it, right? And yeah, it, yeah. Right? right? So, like, so we see like this. Uh, we see like a a, a camera. We see the camera from uh, like if we're like if we're approaching Murasami from a ground level perspective, but he's actually on the wall, and then he jumps down, and the camera just shifts perspectives, right, or shifts uh, orientation. Like that's yeah, actually uh -huh. a very good shot. I was actually impressed by that shit, right? I thought they were gonna do some more yeah. with that shot for some reason, uh, and uh, like maybe shift to uh, Sonoi's uh, pr uh, orientation, right? But no, but it's still pretty good, right? Mm -hmm. It is pretty good. I'm, I was actually surprised by that. I'm like, oh shit, this mm -hmm. is new. We have yeah. some new shit here. And it looks pretty good. You know, it's not bad CGI mm -hmm. to begin with. It's very yeah. quick and, you know, it just goes off. And it doesn't look off to be mm -hmm. to me to begin with anyway. Yeah, but, but yeah, so it is Sonoi and Sonoi's. Ah, fuck, I hate this. I hate this. this... Sonoi and Sonoi 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 fucks off. Right? And then Dom was like, all right, guess I'll fuck off too. Huh? Even though, even though my mom told me to go beat up those other nerds. I guess I'm just gonna. For yeah. For some reason. Uh huh. You know. Yeah, I'm just gonna fuck off. Yes. Anyway, they beat they they, yeah, they beat just, they beat like, the sweet oh. enemy and everything. Like, all right, we got him. We got him. You know. This. This fucking mm -hmm. shit. This fucking wild. Oh yeah, wild yeah. Uh huh. The next stuff, right? Because like, th like during this whole fight, like when they're battling battling the mm -hmm. big monster, right? You literally have Kaito, for some fucking reason. Accepting the minister's award, and he literally just fucking like, like, because, you know, you get the whole big monster fight. They defeat him, right? But they made it, they made it important, like where Kaito is like literally saying, "Hey, I'm the commander yes. of the Dragon uh -huh. Fires. This, this is me. I am accepting this award. I am the hero." And this is like, what the fuck is happening here with Kaito? Like, what? What is right? happening? You know, and then like fucking like. His face is like plastered everywhere, like like where he's just like in on like a fit on a magazine, and then Haruka's like, "What the fuck is this? What is this right here? <laughs> it's so weird." I'm like, "What is yeah, it's so doing? fucking weird?" Man, like, it goes to the fact that how none of this stuff technically makes sense for what we established about Kaito's character within this universe, right? Yeah, I mean, you get like some funny opits where like. Well, Kaito seems mainly co calm and cool and collected, right? You get some, like, things that, you know, obviously contrast, like, the wild outfit that he was wa wearing mm -hmm. beforehand and, like, how he's easily fooled. And I guess he's very egotistical right. now, you know, where he's willing to just accept, so like, an award but, uh, that was clearly someone else's achievement, right. you know? <laughs> that kind of thing. Mm. Uh, it's fucking, it's fucking, I'm, I'm interested, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm like, this is the most random yeah shit. oh mm -hmm. my god oh yeah and then uh, that and then jiro's girlfriend guess... doesn't want to fucking visit him in the end he's like yeah fuck that guy yeah that, that's that's basically how yeah. the episode ends honestly it's fucking great but you, you know that's uh yeah that's, that's it, it. Mm -hmm. that's all right that's is. this week's episode right yeah, look, look, look nothing. Uh, it's a good thing nothing high concept was uh, was presented within this episode for us to discuss about. You know, right? 
It was. Yeah, you know, but hey, hey, uh, uh it was. Oh okay, no, I'm I'm really I'll enjoying Dawn Brothers so far as a series. You know, right? Like we're pretty. I mean, I. I mean, I guess you could say we're kind of at the halfway point of the series now, right? Because we already are at episode 20, right? So we're definitely approaching the halfway point yeah. of the series. And I think I'm really satisfied so far with how's it going out and everything, right? Yeah, at least uh, I'm still I'm still kind of like, like they're still doing like mm-hmm, right. The stuff. fact that the fact that they definitely still have a bad made us. fucking Subal. I mean, not Subaza. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, Subaza as part of the team yet yeah, is insane. We're twenty episodes in, and they still don't know who the fuck he is. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of fucking wild. Where he's just he's still such a separate entity from the rest of the group. I'm really w- interested in why they're doing that i'm pretty sure it's just because they probably want to limit like um the whole natsumi me uh miho connection mm-hmm. thing you know they're probably just like waiting for the for there to be like a big twist or a big reveal or of something or other so i'm really waiting mm-hmm, for that right you know? but you know we're getting more stuff of kaito right. now yeah so which kind of i'm not sure if these are good or bad thing right Right. Yeah, and then there's the whole like apparently the Cerebrans are in the uh, movie now. Oh uh, yeah, which yeah, yeah. Hey, remember the Cerebrans? Remember those? Uh, remember those fucking things that made a big deal about? And then they still haven't fucking uh, they still haven't done anything about. Yeah, I mean they're kind of hanging around. They're just like, hey man, we gotta take care of the monster works. The Cerebrans, eh? They're kind of cool sometimes. They're kind of not. You know, it, it depends on their mood in the week. You know, if they decide to join in on the right. fight or not. But, like, uh, you know, I guess the, I guess we'll see what, what happens mm-hmm. with them later on. Because Murasame is, like, important to them, apparently. Yeah. So. Also, Murasame is a, an, an artificial life form. So, I guess mm-hmm. that's a thing, mm-hmm. too. Right, right. So, I'm kind of, kind of curious to see what where that's going up. And they're like, oh, this council made them. So, why is this... Why are they going against the fucking uh, Cerebrans to begin with? Um, you know, there's some little plot hooks here and there to just kind of really keep our interest in looking like, what's going on mm-hmm, here? Mm-hmm. That kind of thing. But, I mean, you know, it's it's not as bad as before where we didn't get, like, a whole bunch of information for, like, the first, like, ten episodes, <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. about on the, on the world and shit. On sh- and shit so. Right. Which, which we still don't technically know either, considering, um, still don't know why they're hiding amongst society. Mm-hmm. No real explanation on the, the whole digital world. Yeah, or anything. I know. Assuming that will be, we'll get a proper explanation for that in the in the upcoming episodes. Yeah. Now, but we could dig it. I'm sure they'll approach these high concept things at some point, you know, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you let me know when that happens. Uh, yeah. right? I'll, I'll be waiting. Yeah. Yeah. Like, 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 like. And I'll let you know after watching this episode of Rick and Morty. All right. Yeah, look, oh I, I, I tied it all oh back. I tied it all back, you know. See, that's how high concept. But we, we referenced something we we referenced something we acknowledged earlier, you know, right? Kaito, right. We gone full. We gone full. It's just like it's just like Kaito. Dan Her, uh, Hammond. Hammond is that fuck? Dan Dan Harmon. Dan like, we went the full hero's journey. You know? We follow his story beats idea, you know, right? Right. It's no, what is okay. what he would have wanted. <laughs> Is what he always wanted in every episode of it. We follow the hero's journey. His really, his really complex, high concept hero's journey. Unironically, right? No. Have you ever looked at that uh, wheel yeah, that exactly. he made describing the hero's the his the story cycle? It's re- it's. Did he make a new no, one? Well, Is that what no. you mean? Because like I, I'm familiar with the traditional hero's journey, like. Circle. But have you seen Dan uh, Dan, Dan Harmon's Dan version Harman. of the Hero Circle? It's it's I'm actually it's more like a pie, right? Oh, okay. And then there's right, something the internet. Right, well, well, we answered from there. We did that. We adapted to situation. We got what we were doing. It. We pay a heavily price for it. Yeah. Yeah. This is this is essentially what basically a hero's journey. He's just simplifying. Is he simplifying? I think he's just expanding yeah. on the terms. If anything. No, no, this is, the, because the thing is, like, typically for a hero's journey, it's like, you know, the hero is, like, maybe at a peaceful village or whatever, then he's introduced to change by either by some, like, either a mentor, then he refused yeah, to call, yeah, right, uh-huh. because then, or there's this, 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 sometimes it was like, I don't know if I want to do this, but then they're pushed into this situation, then they enter the unfamiliar situation, then they adapt, there's the moment where, like, oh, they might, you know, they might not be able to do it, but yeah. then, you know, of course they do, like, oh, we, we're able to overcome by either <laughs> sacrificing something or... 
death of the mentor, that kind of thing. And then they kind of like they go back to their their home their home place, but yeah, they, they're they changed person. Yeah, change at the end. Mm-hmm. That's, yeah, that's essentially what he he's saying the same thing, but he's saying it in a more broad mm-hmm. or loose term and making it so that it's not like the mentor is not mm-hmm. really a thing. It's more like it's more like the character wants something and they have right. to go and do it, right? So. So, so because what they desire mm-hmm. is what pushes them rather yeah. than the mentor or like some random event you know really mm-hmm. pushing them into it so it's more it seems more character yeah. driven and more broader in that terms of anything uh, alright yeah, and there we go we, and that's uh, how we ended this episode we, we, with a lesson on the hero's yeah, journey yeah, sure. for the audience okay alright <laughs> Okay, that wasn't a proper. Yeah, I think that's, that's, that's good enough. That I think you know, as a anything. linguistics, right? I say that's a good enough lesson. I say you use the English language, okay. you know, to explain to the audience, you know. And <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, well, look, we tied it all back. Yes. Hey, look, we this started is... with linguistics. I don't we know, ended man. with it, you know, right? They have changed overall. Yeah, but you know... Look, at the beginning of this podcast, I wasn't a linguistics, you know, but by the end of this, I have changed and understand the English language and become a linguistics, all right? That's how it works. Oh, my God. But what? But here's the thing. Whatever happens to the yeah. new English language, what happens to I'll work at it. I'll work at it. We'll fuck. Uh, it's a work in progress, you know, right? Look, I have it saved on the cloud, you know. Oh I just gotta go, go at some point, go nah, and edit it, yeah. you know, right? Present my final draft, nah, submit yeah, it, sure. submit it to the committee, you know, right? Right, you know. Uh-huh. Hey. Yeah, hey, I'll let you know how. You let I'll let you know how goes. that turns out on next week's episode of Don Brothers. <laughs> all right, all right, we've been talking <laughs> long enough. Jesus fucking Christ. All right, all right, Chrome yeah, right. System thing. Watch as wear a mask, get your shots. The boost is a thing now. Kate, thanks, bye.